Okay, so we have another um, right, cell. So this is going to be rearrange multivariable equations. So the first one is going to be to solve for r in terms of c. So the first we need to recognize that this is all multiplication. So every single term is being multiplied together. So what it means is that we want r on one side and c on the other side. But since we're trying to get r by itself, here's what we need to do. We need to divide by 2 pi because this is all multiplication. So again, remember with PEMDAS, we want to undo whatever's happening to, happening to the variable in order to get it by itself. So c equals 2 pi r. I'm going to divide the left and the right by 2 pi. Again, because I want to get r by itself. So when I do that, I'm going to have the 2's cancel out, pi's cancel out, and I'm going to get be left with c over 2 pi equals r. Okay, so for the next one, it says to solve for q in terms of r and s. So whenever I see solve for q, that means I want to isolate that variable one side and get all the other variables and constants on the other. So in this case, I'm going to say s equals r plus q. So I'm going to subtract r from both sides. So s minus r equals q, and that's my solution. Okay, so here's our next question. It says x equals w divided by v. Solve for v in terms of w and x. That means I want to get v by itself. So we need to move v into the numerator. So to do this, I'm going to multiply v, excuse me, I'm going to multiply v on the left-hand side, and I'm going to multiply v on the right-hand side, because I want to get rid of v as a denominator. So when I do that, I'm going to get vx equals because they are across from each other on the same side, I'm going to get VW over V. And those Vs are going to cancel out on the right. So I'm left with VX equals W. So the operation right here of V and X is multiplication. So I want to divide x from both sides. So vx divided by x equals w divided by x. And then again, these cancel out. So v equals w over x. And that's my solution. OK, so for this i cell, it says v equals u plus w minus t. So you're going to solve for v in terms of t, u, and v. So that means we want w on its own side. So w is going to be by itself. So we need to find some way to move the u and the t over to the left and get w to stay on one side. Um, so the first thing you need to do is think about adding and subtracting, correct? So I want to start with the u, so I'm going to subtract u from both sides. So I go v minus u equals w minus t. And then I'm going to add t to both sides. So since there's nothing to combine them with, what you're going to do is you're going to just put them next to each other. So V minus U plus T equals W, because those T's cancel out on the right. And that's my solution. All right, see you in class.